Hey guys, today we are at Hardy's to try their new Philly cheesesteak menu. We're going in here now for lunch and get the thick burger, and we're going to come back in the morning and get the breakfast burrito. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Only one thing better than the Philly cheesesteak, the Philly Cheesesteak Angus Thick Burger. That's sliced ribeye, roasted peppers, onions, melty cheese sauce, and charbroiled Angus beef. Bite into the new Philly Cheesesteak menu. Download the app and join my rewards for exclusive offers. All right, guys, the food has arrived. We upgraded our combo to onion rings, added to 40 cents. Hardy's has some pretty decent onion rings. There's the one-third Philly Steak Burger. The grand total was 12 62 if you just want the burger by itself 799 all right Bobby let's unwrap that and see what's all on it first impressions it looks pretty decent so you have a potato bun on there you have the third pound Angus beef burger thin sliced ribeye fire roasted onions and peppers melty cheese and mayonnaise now I don't see any mayonnaise it's probably on the bottom but that's decent looking yeah see me flip it over yeah there's the mayonnaise and there's a lot on there let's just take one more look and see how those peppers look on there okay I'm gonna let Bobby try it I think it looks really nice don't you I mean the way it, the, they brought it out I'm gonna try one of these peppers by itself I can really smell them so the pepper was nice and sweet because it was fire roasted. Now, we only got one of these because this sandwich is 810 calories. So we're just gonna half it. Plus we've already had breakfast. 810 oh. and a Big Mac is 540. I thought a Big Mac had a lot of calories in it. Let's just take a peek on this one. I think I cut it pretty even. You did. Well, I know you're waiting for it, Bobby. Mm -hmm. the, buns, the bun looks nice and fresh. I think it's a potato bun. Plenty of meat on there and cheese, so here we go. Well, Bobby, what did you think about that? I like the peppers, of the sweetness of them, and the onions. John and I have always been a fan of Hardy's hamburgers. We say they probably have the best hamburgers out of all the fast food. The cheese, the ribeye is nice cut or nice slice thin as you can see. So I really like this. And I am a fan of the Philly cheesesteaks. And I think that's only a limited time, so you're thinking that should be on the menu a little longer. I, I hope they would keep this. This is a really good sandwich. And I think it was on the menu last year, so I think they're bringing it back, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna try it. Look at that melty cheese. It says melty cheese in the description. It definitely is. Now that's what a burger should look like. A lot of times we get these burgers, they don't look like the picture. This looks like the picture. I like that. I can really taste that cheese. I can't wait really to taste the mayonnaise in there. That cheese comes through. Like Bobby said, we love Hardy's burgers. The sweetness of the peppers, like you said, the thin cut ribeye. It's just, I pull a piece off here. Nice and thin cut. Nice and tender, juicy. Good burger. Now, 7 dollars 
I mean, that's probably high for a hamburger, but the way things are going, that's what things cost today. So you guys can decide whether you want to spend that much on those. Bobby, I'm going to have you try these onion rings. Crispy looking onion rings. This was only 40 cents to upgrade, so that's a no-brainer here. That one looks like a cube. It does. <laughs> I like their onion rings. They're nice and crisp, warm. I grabbed another one so you can see the onions in there. Look at that. They have good onion rings mm -hmm. here. They're not minced. So I'm glad we got these instead of the fries. Another good thing about coming here at Hardee's, they always give you coupons. They have some good deals on these. Yeah. You What's see? the free? Free small fries and small beverage with the purchase of a Frisco Hanks burger. I see one that you might like. Can you see it on this page? Uh, a cinnamon roll. And I do like that. And my Bobby's saying that. I brought one of those in today. And, but they don't have any. I don't think I could have eaten it today, but I was going to no, take it home. So. And it's a, a dollar. I don't know if I've had a cinnamon roll from here. I don't think we've ever tried their cinnamon rolls. I have to try that maybe in the morning when we get the burrito. Yeah, we'll I'll get, get the get cinnamon one. roll. One last look at this. Again, Hardee's, in our opinion, has the best burgers around. I know sometimes we've come here and didn't get some of the stuff we're supposed to get, but today, Bobby and I both agree, this is a very good sandwich. There's only one thing better than the Philly cheesesteak, the Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito. That's sliced ribeye, roasted peppers, onions, melty cheese sauce, and fluffy eggs all wrapped in a fresh tortilla. Bite into the new Philly cheesesteak menu. All right, guys, we are back at Hardy's for breakfast. We have the new Philly burrito. Now, this is $5.79 here, but most places across the country, the retail price is $4.99. The same with the hamburger. We paid $7.99 for it. $7.19 most places. I have no idea why West Virginia charges more, but they do. And Got that cinnamon roll I was talking about. Let's cut this open. This is gonna have the same thing as the hamburger, except with eggs, but it's gonna have the ribeye, the melty cheese, which we'll talk about here in a minute, fire roasted peppers and onions, a warm flour tortilla in there, and foldable fluffy eggs. Now, if you wanted eggs cracked was 75 cents more. These are like uh, liquid eggs. But how does it look on the side? It's pretty good. You can smell uh, the peppers when I cut into that. You can smell those. Lots of flavors. Now before we try this, let's talk about this melty cheese that makes this so good. At least made the hamburger so good. This is like Cheese Whiz. A fact there's no cheese in Cheese Whiz or Velveeta. That stopped back in the early 2000s on Velveeta. Did you know that, Bobby? I did not know that. My grandmother always bought Velveeta. And something else, in Philly, a Philly cheesesteak, one of the most common things put on it is Cheese Whiz, besides the provolone and stuff. So that's why they're using it in the eggs and hamburger. One more thing, Bobby, about the Cheese Whiz, and then we'll go on. All you gotta do is look at how Cheese Whiz is spelled. It doesn't say cheese, it's got the Z on it, because it's not cheese, but one thing we found out about the burger yesterday, it makes it pretty tasty. All right, go ahead and give that a try. So there's plenty of Cheese Whiz on there. I'm gonna open up a little bit. There's all the green peppers, and let me see. Yeah, there's a lot of cheese Meat with eggs. on there. Now, this one is 550 calories. We're halving this because we got this and the cinnamon roll. So here we go. And this one, I could really taste the cheese whiz. Like on the hamburger, it wasn't as noticeable, but there is plenty right there here. Like the onions and the green peppers. Gave you plenty of the meat in there. Did you notice yeah, that? Look at all that in there. So I like this one also. All right, guys, I'll try it too, but it's just one more look. It's all in there. There's the foldable eggs. All right, after putting this back together, I'm gonna try it. It's starting to fall apart, but this ribeye steak, I'm sure, is not premium ribeye, but I like what it tastes like. It's very flavorful. There we go. 
Now, I'm going to have to agree with Bobby about the cheese whiz on this. You can really taste that in there. A lot of saltiness to that, but I like it. You know, it's like a mild cheddar, kind of a combination of American flavor, even though it's not real cheese. A lot of meat on there. More meat than there is eggs on there. So that really makes it good. The peppers are fire roasted, which gives them a little sweetness to them. Very good burrito. Try some of this sauce on there. That's good on there, but the only thing I didn't like about it, it covers up the flavor of the steak. So I would probably leave it off. Let's try this cinnamon roll. Normal price of this is $2.79. We had that coupon and got it for a dollar, so couldn't pass it up. This isn't new. We decided to get it though. There you go. Not a lot of cinnamon in it, but still for a buck. Cinnamon roll. You guys know I like cinnamon rolls. Had to have it. That is a decent cinnamon roll. I like the icing. It's not an abundance of cinnamon in there. Now, feeling it on top, I didn't notice it was that hot, but when I bit into it, it was very warm. So I paid a dollar for this. Well worth a dollar. $2.79, eh, maybe once in a while. I don't know if I'd get it every time. Well, we just left Hardy's after trying the two new Philly cheesesteak items. What did you think about them? I think it was a pretty good idea how they did that with the Philly cheesesteak and the fire roasted peppers. It really brought out the sweetness of the peppers and the onions. Now, they had a lot of calories in both uh, of them. A lot them. of them. And but a lot we, of salt. And, yeah, and a lot of salt. But we have them. I like them both, but I'm gonna go with the hamburger. That would be my favorite. Now for me, I'm also gonna go with the hamburger because we said it yesterday, we'll just say it again. We love Hardee's hamburgers. Mm -hmm. They are both very salty with all that processed cheese whiz on there, but I like it. I thought it tasted great. It really added, well, to both of them, but it really added to that hamburger. The hamburger had mayonnaise on it, but I couldn't taste any mayonnaise. They put a good bit though on the bottom. They did, but I mean, that cheese whiz just overpowers everything. And I didn't realize, because I don't eat a lot of Philly cheese steaks, that cheese whiz is common on those. So good idea to add those to both items. How about that ribeye steak that was on there? I know that wasn't top notch, but what did you think of it? I liked it, it was nice and thin. And it had a nice flavor. I mean, a fast food shop, you wouldn't think it would have decent steak like that, but that was pretty good. Now, let me say something about the price one more time. I think I said about it in there. It's 80 cents more here in West Virginia. The regular price of that is supposed to be $4.99 for the burrito, $5.19 for the hamburger and at most places across the country. If you want to, leave in the comments. Tell us what you paid for it. I thought it was decent. Why is West Virginia always yeah. hired everything? I think we're like almost the second or third poorest state. I know. We paid something more, I think, was on those well, wings. Those chicken wings, yeah. And everybody a dollar else. more on those. I don't understand that. So for us, we enjoyed both items. So if you guys can handle all those calories and all that sodium and don't mind that price, pick these up so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again j and b have left the building, building.